To use this advanced model for estimating mass divisivity in gases, you need two things that are not commonly available. You need the characteristic energy and you need the characteristic collision diameter. What if you don't have those? Well, you need the characteristic energy to get to this correction factor omega. And if you don't have the characteristic energy, well, the characteristic energy is somehow related to the boiling point. So if you take the boiling point at one atmosphere in Kelvin and then multiply that with 1.15, you get usually a reasonable estimate of what the characteristic energy is. What about the characteristic collision diameter? Well, you can use the Schroeder contribution method. What you do then is to look at the molecule and say that here's an ethanol molecule, for example. It consists of two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And these atoms all take up space. So then you take your handbook and you look up a table. And there you have different atoms. And in the case of oxygen, you have different cases. Uh, for example, uh, double bound as in a carbonyl group, bound to to other elements in methyl esters and so on. And then oxygen takes up a different amount of space depending on how it's bound to other. So in the case of ethanol, you like look this up and you see that two carbon atoms that takes up two times 14.8, 10 to the power minus six cubic meter per mole. And for hydrogen, it's six times, since it's six atoms, times 3.7. And for oxygen, it's 1 times 7.4, since you have one oxygen atom. And then you sum that together and get 59.2, 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter per mole. Now you have estimated the molar volume. So how to go from that to a characteristic collision diameter? Well, you could consider close packing of of spheres, which is a bit odd since the molecule isn't a sphere, and you could consider other things. But the equation that we will use and is often used is this one, which is similar to the equation if you would assume close packing. So the characteristic collision diameter sigma equals 0 0.985 times the cubic root out of the this uh, molar volume expressed in SI units divided by Avogadro's number. An alternative is that if you have the, the density at the boiling point, you can simply take the molar mass and divide that with the density at the boiling point, and then you get the molar volume at, at the boiling point, and then you can take that and calculate the characteristic collision diameter. So let's do an example. Uh, let's use benzene in air as we have done before. And your task now is to try to estimate the size of that molecule. So the characteristic collision diameter using the Schroeder contribution method. And there's one trap here. Uh, Benzene has a ring. So how deal to deal with that? So pause here and then we go into the solution. Okay, benzene consists of six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. So it's six times coal and six times hydrogen. So six times 14.8 and six times 3.7. But then there is a ring. And if you have, have a ring, then that actually takes up less space than if it, you don't have a ring. And you look up the, that in the table and you see that a cyclic group that has six elements, you take away 15. So you take away 15 and then we get, let's see, 96 uh, times 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meters per mole or if you want 1.59 10 to the power minus 20, 28 uh, cubic meters per molecule. 
and you can recalculate that to the characteristic collision diameter like this, and then you get 5.34 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. We could continue here and put that into the advanced model, uh, the characteristic collision diameter and the characteristic energy. And what we get then is 9.11 10 to the power minus 6 square meters per second as the diffusivity, which is still close to the literature value of 9.62 10 to the power minus uh, 6 square meters per second. So note that the contribution method is something that you use when you don't have the characteristic collision diameter. But if you do have it, fine, just use the characteristic collision diameter. Don't use the Schroeder contribution method if you have accurate data.